Welcome to the NetSuite video series provided by Orang Group. My name is Abigail Casada, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create a custom role in NetSuite. To create a custom role in NetSuite, you will navigate to Setup, Users Roles, and click on Manage Roles. The Manage Roles page will list all of your custom and standard roles. When creating a custom role, best practice is to create it from a standard role. This is because the standard roles already come with a list of permissions that are typically or commonly used by the users to perform their daily tasks. To create a custom role from the standard role, you will click on the Customize link next to the role, standard role that is closely associated to the custom role that needs to be created. On the role page, you will need to enter the name for the custom role. Best practice is to first enter the initials of the company and then the name of the role. Any field that has an asterisk is a required field in NetSuite. If you have a question over a specific field, you can always select or click on the name of the field and a field help pop-up window will show up explaining the field. In NetSuite, there's five categories of permissions. You have transactions, reports, lists, setup, and custom records. The commonly used permissions are transactions, reports, and lists. Under each of these categories, you will have the records to which the user will have access to. If you review the list and see that there are permissions that should not be given access to the user, you can always click on the line and click remove. You can remove as many permissions as required. If you see that a permission is missing, you can always scroll to the bottom of the page or the list and click on the add row. And then select the record to which the user will need access to. Click tab. You also have the ability to define the access level for that record. In NetSuite, there's up to four access levels. You have View, Create, Edit, and Full. View, the user will have the ability to view that specific record. Create, the user will have the ability to view and create that record. Edit, the user will have the ability to view, create, and edit that record. And Full, the user will have the ability to view, create, edit and delete the record. Best practice is to always use edit access level for uh, records in NetSuite. Once you select the access level, you can click add. Transaction permissions are, transa are permissions associated to your transactional records, such as purchase orders, vendor bills, sales orders, invoices, etc. Reports are related to re access to reports to specific information such as your accounts payable, your income statement, your balance sheet, inventory, etc. And your lists are records that are non-transactional. So that will be your vendors, your customers, your item records, etc. Including registers. Once you review your permission list, and all of the permissions have been assigned as required or needed, you can go ahead and save the role by clicking on the Save button located at the top of the page or the bottom of the page. Upon clicking on the Save button, your role, your custom role, will be saved and you should see it in your Manage Roles page. As you see here, RG Accountant 1 has been created. Thank you for viewing this video provided by RAN Group. If you have any questions or would like more information on NetSuite, feel free to contact us.